have more tough questions this afternoon about how this man was able to fool Gwinnett County officials into believing he was here legally. We first told you yesterday the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Department admits it made mistakes in the case of Ivan Gonzalez. He was here illegally, but he managed to trick the system and get out of jail twice, mm. the last time just days before he's accused of killing three children. Now, today we learned that another state agency may have also dropped the ball in this case. CBS Atlanta's Michelle Marsh is live with the new details on this one. Just mistake after mistake, huh, Michelle? There are a lot of tough questions in this case and a lot of blame to go around. Not only was the federal fingerprint system down here at the Gwinnett County Jail, today we learned Gonzalez managed to trick the system last year and obtain a Georgia driver's license. How does an illegal immigrant get a Georgia license? That's the tough question we asked Jennifer Ammons with the Georgia Department of Driver Services. It is very difficult for someone who is not entitled to a license or identification card to get one. So um, a case like this is just an exception? It is definitely an exception. Ammons says agents are trained to spot bogus documents, but we've uncovered a potentially alarming gap in the system. The case of illegal immigrant Ivan Gonzalez. A spokesperson for the Gwinnett County Sheriff says this now suspected child murderer got a Georgia license by providing the state with a fake name and false documents, a potential problem that we exposed to the state. When were you alerted about this problem? Uh, when you called our public information officer, so about an hour ago. Gwinnett County Police say Gonzalez caused a deadly meth lab fire that killed these three young children inside of their Lilburn home last week. DDS now says they will launch their own investigation into how an illegal immigrant managed to go undetected. Look at uh, whether pr proper procedures were, were followed and look at whether um, the documents that, that we received were legitimate or whether they were counterfeit. Now, right now, there is an international search for Gonzalez. Authorities believe he may be heading to Mexico. Reporting live in Gwinnett County, Michelle Marsh, CBS Atlanta News. New at four today, funerals were held this afternoon for three children killed in that house fire sparked by a meth lab. 18-month-old Stacy Brito and her brothers, three-year-old Ivan and four-year-old Ivan, Isaac Guevara died inside their home in Lilburn. As Michelle mentioned, police plan to charge Ivan Gonzalez with three counts of murder. The children's mother, Nibi Brito, is charged with trafficking methamphetamine. New developments.